Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If it's your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, rocket stoves today, and lots and lots of other DIY projects, start now by subscribing and click on that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Whoa! So the plan now is to cut this. I doubt you can see in there, but maybe you can see light coming from the top. Right, that's the tin can all the way at the back. Alright, what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of fire cement around the top to try and seal it. So there you go, a bit of fire cement around that just to act as a seal. Um, front section is okay. If it gets a bit of air around there, I think it'll be alright. So that's it. One rocket stove. Let's set up now and see if it works. So we have our little rocket stove done. Time for a bit of fire lighter. Lighter. Now you can see that the flame is going that way. The smoke's not actually coming out the front. And the smoke's coming up here. That's actually a very good sign. Of course, we can put some sort of a door on this and a separator plate, you know, so that you've got air traveling underneath. But the air has no trouble getting through the, um, and you can see it, I think, can you? Yeah, the flames are actually being pulled in here. And the smoke coming up. Nothing super heated yet, but we'll see in a minute. At this stage, somebody's gonna ask me, what happens if you put some waste oil in there? Maybe in a minute. Okay, so we have our, our rocket stove noises beginning to happen. Will I drop it for kerosene just to get it moving? Whoa! <laughs> okay, so the, the question about can I get it working on waste oil has been answered. If I put waste oil in there, it's definitely gonna go. Um, you know, it's a, good, it's a good job I have, um, I don't know what they are, 14 feet high ceilings. Um, because I would have roasted the ceiling there. So on the other camera, you can see that this is actually a successful rocket stove. The flames are going this way, you know, horizontal, and it's burning off the, the paint and the coatings and stuff like that on the actual tin can you know, quality street tin can. So my first attempt at a rocket stove, this one did actually work, but um, wasn't great. This one's working nice. Well, yep. Okay, so today I've got a rocket stove. This is just a quality street biscuit tin. You know, you can see it. I've got some fuel in the front of it and some dog food tins, you know, with the, the bottom cut off them and just stacked to make a flue. That's it, simple rocket stove. You know, it costs nothing because it's all done out of scrap. Uh, so we're gonna light it today and we'll see what goes. I'm gonna try and get it going with um, a drop of waste oil or, you know, vegetable oil anyway. It's not really waste. So I'll try and light this. Hollywood. Okay, difficulty getting that lit. This thing is about as powerful as, you know, nothing. All right, so we're on the go now. What I want is for the wood to catch. I could put a, you know, a grid in there or a, a, a grate for this to sit on. But you can see the flames, for the most part, are being pulled in. I'll just push that in a bit. Oh, I've got that stainless stuff now. That's gas. And, uh, I won't see now. It's gone out. <laughs> okay, what could go wrong? Okay, so here's what, <laughs> don't do this at home, it's mad windy, it's 25, 30 miles an hour here, here, maybe gusting a little bit more. The wind is blowing across the front of the rocket stove. 
which is giving me fierce trouble. I'm not getting, uh, it's blowing it out. <laughs> it's able to smother the fire. Okay, so there you go. Successful little rocket stove made on a dog food tin, a biscuit tin, three or four more dog food tins. And you can see the flames coming out of it. It's working really well. The smoke you see off it is not the smoke coming from this really. It's more the paint and all that sort of stuff off it. Um, yeah, but a nice little rocket stove. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Okay, stand by. Okay, indestructible rocket stove. <laughs> now look, it's very windy here at the moment. We've 30 mile an hour winds. I had a bit of a board in front of this thing, and uh, I was hoping not to burn my house down. So there you go. Look, it's working. You know, it fell about I don't know three feet. And uh, it's still running, doesn't care. So I was going to run this on waste oil, uh, or some vegetable oil, anything, just to, to kind of move it on. But it's too windy, it's getting dodgy here now at the moment, sketchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here now, um, and see how this video looks. It'll probably never make it to YouTube. So look, if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here, and uh, thanks very much for putting up with me. I'll see you all in the next video. Good luck, bye.